Okay, so we're here at John Donaldson's house, and this is John Donaldson, the man himself. Your installation is a little bit older than um, Gib Geiger's, but what can you tell us about it? Uh, it's about the same size in terms of capacity, but he's actually got less panels than I do because his technology is a year older. His, the capacity of his panels is uh, 210 watts, and mine's 170, so it's, you know, it's gotten that much better in a year. Um, I decided to put mine on pedestals rather than lower to the ground uh, for a couple reasons. One is I wasn't sure what the snow load was going to be. And uh, having it up this high, they do shed snow pretty quickly, but it, it, it piles up pretty good. Um, and I didn't, I didn't really want to be cleaning snow up here. And the, the pivot point is on the top of the pedestal. So to adjust the tilt or the angle to the sun, That's a chore and, and a nuisance. What I did this, this summer was work with a metal fabricator and we together sort of designed a very simple system where he essentially moved, moved the mechanics down to uh, eye level. So now I can adjust them by myself. The, the whole concept behind geothermal is, at least in this design, you use heat pumps, which is old technology, but they've adapted it now to uh, use water from the ground as a source uh, to, uh, to provide heat. That process they can extract from 50 degree well water, uh, 120 degrees. Uh, and they're rated at about three to one efficiency. So for every, every unit of electricity they use, they generate three units of heat mm -hmm. or cooling in the summer. What would be your cheapest electric bill versus your most expensive? I think it was July or August, it was $2.60. And $2. So that's sorts of things we be conscious of in terms of appliances or um, winterizing the house. What sorts of things did you do for efficiency? We did, um, I mean the main thing is in this day and age builders uh, know how to build houses tight. And so you do a lot of things to prevent air filtration. Mm -hmm. It turns out that, that geothermal is um, very electric intensive. Mm -hmm. uh, so while we're making about, uh, had just a little more than one year um, of experience and we, we made about 5,600 uh, kilowatts. Wow, over the year? Over the year. Uh, that was only about 25% of my total consumption mm -hmm. because these guys do use a lot. Um, mm -hmm. I, I'm convinced that, and the numbers will prove that it's still much more efficient than heating with a conventional boiler system. which you should do about four times a year to get, the experts say you'll get 15 or 20% more mm -hmm. uh, output. 